Hey everyone, John Rettinger here. I'm a guest editor for Pocketnow.com. I'm going to walk you through the software on the just released RIM BlackBerry Storm, give you a sense of what it's like to own the device. I'm going to take you through the browser, the media player, contacts, mail, messages, really take you step by step through the device and hopefully help you decide if it's right for you or not. So stick around, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! So when you turn the device on, you're greeted via a very simple and elegant home screen. With the date featured prominently in the middle, battery indicator in the upper left, on the right side you've got your signal strength, and conveniently located right below the battery indicator is a profile switcher. So the bulk of the screen is taken up by these two rows, which are shortcut keys, which consist of two rows of four, and you can configure these for anything that you'd like. You can even add a third row if you choose. So we'll go ahead and hit the BlackBerry button here and take you to the main menu. So you can set these order any way you like, but here's what they are. For me, I've got two email icons, SMS and text, contacts, calendar, browser, full visual voicemail, sounds, options, messages, Verizon's proprietary navigation system, which supports the built-in GPS chip in the storm, instant messaging, applications, games, downloads, setup, help, search, music, manage contacts, lock, and turn device off. So some of the stuff you guys are definitely going to want to see and want to know about, let's say, is the calendar for the business users out there. And you're greeted by a very typical BlackBerry calendar, things that you're used to on the Pearl, the Curve, and some of you with the Bold. You can view by date, and you can tap the day you want to see, click it, and it will pull up a list of your appointments. Very nice, very simple, typical BlackBerry. So we'll go ahead and go back to the main screen here. And the browser is one of the biggest selling points of the storm, so let me go ahead and demonstrate that for you. I have it already queued up to pocketnow.com. Now when you scroll through, it is very smooth scrolling, but it's not flick scrolling, meaning when you take your finger off, it stops right where you are. And this is true for contacts and for most of the applications in the menus through the storm. While it is a nice silky transition, again when you take your finger off, it's going to stop. So some people like that, some may not. Um, for zooming, you've got two options. You can either double tap, and it'll zoom in for you, or down at the bottom, you've got a minus and a plus magnifying glass, similar to what's on the T-Mobile G1, and you can zoom in or zoom out doing that as well. And this is a full HTML-capable browser based on the same WebKit uh, browser that the iPhone uses. And it's very full-featured and very robust, and I've been relatively impressed with it, although at this point, it does not support Flash. So let's go back here. And one thing I should mention about the browser as well is that it does not support tabbed internet browsing, which I wish it did. Not so bad. I mean, if you want to type in a web page, you hit the www, and you can type in what you like right there. It has all of your bookmarks and your history right below it. So the next thing is it's got a full visual voicemail, very similar to what's found on Apple's iPhone. I know Verizon has rolled this out on a few other devices. Essentially what that means, instead of seeing an indicator showing that you have one or two voicemails, this will actually tell you who the voicemails are from, and you can select and pick what you want to play, as well as a status bar across the bottom that lets you fast forward to different points in the voicemails. Very handy and something I really have enjoyed on the storm. Next thing you've got sounds, that you change your profiles from ring to vibrate. Uh, options, your typical Blackberry options, nothing out of the ordinary here, and it works with the scrolling. Like I said before, not flick scrolling. So when you take your finger off, it stops. We'll go back here and we've got messages. Very stereotypical uh, BlackBerry messages, push capabilities. Setting up an email is very easy. All you need to do is type in your email address and your password, and they will take care of the rest for you. It makes it a very nice and simple transition. VZ Navigator, Verizon's proprietary navigation system for turn-by-turn -turn directions, which are very nice. Uh, media. This is a very full featured media phone as well. So let me go ahead and show you some of the cool things that it's got for it. So the first one, it's got music. It's got a full music player. And it's broken up by music, songs, artists, albums, genre, and playlists. So let me go ahead and play a sample song for you. And you can fill it up as much as you want to the 8 gigabytes built in micro SD card. Here's a demo. It takes a second to load up. As you can hear, the speakers are quite loud, and those speakers are coming from the bottom right there, that speaker grill. 
very loud. So we'll go ahead and accelerometer kicked in there. I'm going to close that up. All right, so let's go back. Next thing we have is videos, and the screen on on the Storm is fantastic and really makes videos pop. So I'll go ahead and show you a quick clip here. They included a trailer for the movie Babylon AD, uh, for better or worse. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and play that for you so you can see what video looks like on the Storm. So plays video quite well and quite loudly again. Um, really, the video pops on this. If you want to watch a movie on an airplane, will not be a problem. Um, it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous screen. So let's go back here. Ringtones. Select all your ringtones right there, and you can set them for any contact you choose. It's got a very nice picture viewer too here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Sample pictures. And any pictures that you take using the built-in 3.2 megapixel autofocusing camera will show up here as well. And any videos you take using that same camera will show up in the video selection. It also has a built-in flash and self-portrait mirror. So let's go ahead and open a picture. And you can flick from picture to the next using your finger. Very nice and easy. And if you want to zoom in, just like a web page, you can double tap it. And notice when I double tap, I'm not depressing the screen. I'm just making very light contact. And you can scroll around to that same way. Very cool. We'll go back. And using the built-in microphone, keep going back here, you can record voice notes. Very handy feature and something I've actually used quite frequently. Remember to pick up milk. Record it. Not going to forget to pick up your milk. So let's go back to the home screen. And we'll keep going. Camera. Just a simple camera controls. I'll show you that very quickly. Very similar to what you'll find on the Pearl or the Curve. Close out of that. Clock. Set your alarm clock and control the clock settings at the top. Applications. This does have an application store, which is quite handy. So right now it's not that populated. It just has free apps in here, but it will have some pay apps as the beginning continues to develop. It's got Facebook, some Windows Live Messenger, Google Talk. Nothing else revolutionary in there, but it is nice that they do have a built-in application center. And I should notice that this is completely over-the-air firmware upgradable. So meaning as the device matures, the RIM can push out new features or stability upgrades that you can download right over the built-in eVideo network. Instant messaging, it comes out of the box equipped with Windows Live Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Google Talk, AOL Instant Messenger, and BlackBerry's fantastic BlackBerry Messenger. As we continue to scroll down here, applications it does come with a bevy of applications, tasks, calendar, a full Microsoft Word suite, meaning you can create or edit uh, any Microsoft Office documents. So you've got Word to go, Sheet to go, which is Excel, and PowerPoint to go, which they call Slideshow to go, another control for your video camera, another control for voice notes, voice dialing, which does not need to be trained. It automatically will recognize your voice, which is very handy. I've always been a fan of the voice dialing and the Blackberries. Password Keeper and some saved messages. Games. Comes with two built-in games, the old Blackberry staple Brick Breaker, which I used to love to play on my old Pearl. So I want to show you what that looks like, because it is very cool how they did it. So instead of using the trackball to control, you now can use your finger, since it's touchscreen. So you put your finger in there, and it highlights as you move around. It's a very cool take on an old classic, and it's very reliable, and it's very stable and quick, and uh, makes using Brick Breaker even more fun than it was before. <laughs> Let me close out of there. It includes a game called Word Mole as well. It's a word searching game. It downloads, where all your downloads will go. Setup gives you very quick, easy setup for setting up uh, your email, Bluetooth, nice and quick and e painless. Help, search, another control for your music, manage your connections, and locking the device. So since this is a touchscreen and does not have a tactile keyboard, I want to show you guys how the keyboards function here. So let me go ahead and go to Messages, go to SMS, and I will create a new message here.
All right, I've got a new message ready to go. And as you can see that this is in landscape, I'm sorry, in portrait mode, and you've got a sure type quirky keyboard, very it's actually identical to what's found on the current Pearl. I found it's very quick and easy to use, and as you put your finger over it, you get a blue color. It lets you know which key you're on. So I'm going to go ahead and type, my name is John. So it recognizes it said, me name is John, but not too bad. It learns what you type, and it'll get more accurate as you go. One fantastic thing about the BlackBerry Storm is it does support multi-touch. So copy and paste and such are nice and easy. So what you do for copy and paste, you hold your finger down, take your other finger, and you can select the text. Actually very nice and becomes relatively intuitive and you can select cop, cut, copy and paste. Now if you want to type in full landscape mode, take care advantage of the accelerometer, and you've got a full landscape keyboard. So I'll type the same thing, hello my name is John, and you'll notice again as you move your finger over the letters you get that blue glow. Now it is a little harder to see which letter your finger is on top of, but it's not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and type that for you and see how that works out. So, not quite so accurate there, but not too bad. I think it's something that you would get used to uh, the more you use the device. I've only had it for a few days, but I feel after a few weeks, it would become intuitive and second nature. And it highlights as you put your finger over it, and then it clicks actually to push the screen down. And I should mention again that the screen pushing down is nothing revolutionary. I was expecting something that would transcend mobile phones and a really unique experience. It ends up feeling identical to the new trackpads found on the MacBooks and MacBook Pros. Uh, I really enjoy actually the screen pushing down. While it's not revolutionary, I found it became very intuitive and something I actually started to enjoy to use and missed it when I was using my other mobile phones. Something to keep in mind. So the accelerometer is, like I showed you here, a very nice feature, but it can be a little bit laggy. So I'll show you here. It takes a second to turn. So one thing about the BlackBerry is the operating system that's on it was initially developed for non-touchscreen devices such as the BlackBerry Bold, the Curve, the Pearl, and others. It was actually adapted for touchscreen, meaning it wasn't built for this platform. While it does work nice, it is a little bit laggy and it can be a little bit slow. I think it's something that RIM will fix with software upgrades, so I'm not terribly concerned about it, but it's something to keep in mind. So I'll show you another example of that. When I hit the BlackBerry button, there's about a second delay. It's nothing terribly long, but if you're using the device a lot and selecting a lot of options, you will certainly notice it. So guys, this is John Rettinger, guest editor for Pocket Now, with a software overview of the RIM BlackBerry Storm. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Hope you guys enjoyed the software overview of the BlackBerry Storm. Be sure to check out pocketnow.com for more storm coverage and for everything else Windows Mobile. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.